Hey guys, Chris again from ClassicVWBugs.com and in this video I want to talk to you about the multi-part series on the metal sunroof headliner installation. This is a 1966 Beetle that we're doing this installation on and um, you need to follow some of my other headliner videos on how I go about installing the general part of the headliner. Uh, I'm going to show you briefly here how to do it but uh, please follow my other videos online on how to install. Uh, and as you can see just like on my previous videos we have this felt padding throughout, we have the quick roof in the luggage compartment here, rear door panels, and we started padding up the door posts and ready to put the door posts in. So before we get started, I did want to point out, this is one unique thing that's on this metal sunroof headliner, is this spring uh, hanger uh, here that basically holds the, the bows into the headliner uh, in this uh, middle section. I think it's, oop, I just dropped it there. <laughs> Sorry about that. Um, there are about four of these that you need, and they hook in this way, okay? that hook and that spring needs to be on the outside of that pillar. What it is, the bow will go insert into that spring, that circular pre uh, section there on the spring and that's where the headliner has to go. Uh, they're somewhat positioned in this area here but you'll know where to position them once the uh, headliner is in place. So you have this big center section here of the roof that, that uh, the bows hit up against and they will not be able to go up and behind the pillar like on a normal sedan so they need to go into those springs and we reuse this old padding that we put here from the original headline if you can have that and it's in good shape uh, reuse it I did buy a new one and it does not match up correctly uh, if you only left with the new one you could probably just uh, cut it to size and here we have the uh, the headliner laid out of course we're using tweed again um, and here's our bows and if your bows are dirty uh, please clean them up or if you have to spray paint them spray paint them uh, but they will be inserting into these pockets. So you have about you have three pockets here. This is a one-piece headliner, by the way. So here's your bows. Line them up. They should be even, straight across. Not one really shouldn't be longer than the other. So uh, these early '67 and earlier headliners will have the strip sewed to the front of the headliner that goes into the front uh, pillar there over the the windshield that hooks in with these tabs. And then you want to put the bows in and then stretch the headliner back and we start working our way. I usually do the back window first and start cutting away and uh, inserting into the back window and then I start working my way to the sides like you see there. Just keep working your ways. Again, follow you the J-Bugs uh, headliner installation or my past headliner videos on YouTube that show you how to do this more precisely. So, but I'm just basically going through this with you. And you want to push from side to side. Tweed will work with you a lot easier than vinyl. Vinyl, you will have to heat up with a heat gun to get some of the wrinkles up, but just keep pushing side to side till those wrinkles are out. You use the, the, the hair dryer to heat up the material, then you pull and glue into place. You will not get the wrinkles out once it's already glued down. So there's a nice, nice clean section there. We're already up to the quarter windows, and we pushed it and pulled it tight to the front there, and it's over the door areas as well and the grippers. We did the door post first, pulled it again to the back, and it's a nice uniform look. And of course, it passes underneath the wind, uh, the uh, sunroof opening. Nice and tight. Tweed is wonderful to work with. It makes you look like a pro because the wrinkles come out much easier. And you see the back, uh, the last piece of the the back of the headliner uh, uh, below the back window. We did we we lightly placed down for now. And then once we're finished in the window openings, then you trim everything here, like you see. Now this car is going to get pop-out windows, so before you put the headliner in, make sure you put your hardware into place uh, at the rear section of the, the rear quarter window, so those you can find those screws. And then make sure up above the door area, you trim that off as well when you bang up the grippers. Again, follow my past videos. And then this is the way it looks in the sunroof opening. And then what we're going to eventually do is slit that. Here we put the pop-out windows in and we put the back window in as well. Again, make sure your hardware is in place. I have a video on installing pop-out windows as well. Back window is in place. Back uh, headliner uh, below the back window is in place. Everything's trimmed up. Everything looks nice and neat. And then ready for the final padding if you want to put jute padding on top before you put the carpet down. Under quarter windows, material is all there. Everything's glued down nice and tight. So then we're, what we're left with is the sunroof opening. And this is where it can get tricky. 
So basically, just like a window opening, you get to work the same methods here. So you're going to want to glue the wind, uh, this material to this sill here, to this flat section right here. And you're going to want to use the spray glue that we use at uh, 3M90. We like to use with the, jute, with the tweed material. It works really well. So I slid it just like the back window on, say, an oval window um, beetle. We slit the back part of the window to give you some slack here. So we did that in the roof area as well. And you're going to Cut a, a section here, but leave a good amount of meat because you need that to glue onto those sills. So here's an original opening from a, a 65 sunroof. And you see you got the rails and you got the plastic pieces that cover uh, that headliner material. So you do have some coverage there. So if you did make a slight mistake, you, you know, this material would be able to, to help you hide that. So what we do is we start slitting small cuts and just like a window opening, you're going to want to just start slowly pushing the material, gluing uh, you know, on, the, on the sill and on the material itself. And I started with the front, as you see here. Nice and neat. You're going to have to go in and out to check and see how it looks. Remember, small cuts. Use a scissor or a razor. Give yourself enough meat. Those corners can be problematic, but let me show you. So I glue the, the, the flat area there that you see, and then I also glue the headliner. And you want to make sure that they get tacky. It's basically like almost a dry-on-dry uh, situation and that's how it bonds and you just pull it up pull it up nice and tight again enough slack you need to cut make sure you have enough meat to to glue on there because you can always trim that later so I did the sides first and then the corners can get tough here I'm going to slit the corners now I came real close to the edge there um, it's tough corners can be tough like that but again that will be hidden once all those rails are down and the uh, the plastic coverings but I also did make a patch here like right in this corner here look I made a patch with the tweed just to give myself a little more coverage God forbid you know you do see those cuts you don't want them to be shown so you can do that and it won't really be noticeable so that's basically the opening and I worked my way all the way around and I trimmed everything uh, and I, I think on four corners I made patches you really can't see it much with the tweed the vinyl you probably won't see it as well but, uh, you know, vinyl, like I said, be a little more uh, problematic to work with. Uh, the tweed is very easy to work with. Uh, makes you look like a pro, really. And you don't have to worry too much about ironing anything out or using a heat gun to try to get wrinkles out. I know the, the vinyl is uh, cheaper, but uh, it's just more difficult to work with. It actually takes more time.